Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today I've got a ton of news for you. Starting with the RX 6600 non-XT, GPU prices are getting higher, but in response, I'm doing a giveaway. Alder Lake release date, Intel GPUs will officially challenge Nvidia, and Ryzen 6000 APUs are already on the way. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, video cards shared an exclusive that basically they've heard, yes, the RX 6600 non-XT GPU is in fact coming. They actually learned that Gigabyte is preparing a new mid-range model based on a cutdown Navi 23 GPU. And as you can see, they already got some renders of it. We can see right here, it is the Eagle GPU, and they actually have a side-by-side -side comparison. Right here on the right is the non-XT GPU with their XT card. And you can see the shroud itself is essentially identical. The only difference is the PCB. There's some differences right up in here, but it's overall a very similar card, 8 pin on both of them. And when we look at the specs leaked from video cards, we can see that the cores are 1792, which is very close to the 2048 cores in the 6600 XT. Not only that, but it has the same 8 gigabyte GDDR6 running at 16 gigabit per second, as well as 32 megabytes of infinity cache. So basically, just like most non-XT cards, this is basically a slightly cut down version of the 6600 XT. And for further proof, they also found that two different retailers in Australia have already listed the card. You can see right here that the price 910 AUD is 294 Australian dollars cheaper than the XT variant. Of course, at the end of the day, the price will obviously be significantly higher than MSRP regardless, but anything cheaper than the 6600 XT's 379 MSRP will at least sound better. But once again, MSRP as of right now basically means nothing which leads us to our next story. You can see right here from the Chinese site mydrivers.com, Nvidia GPU prices have already started going up. And this is right after reports that we were hearing in September supply was gonna be going down quite a bit for their RTX 30 series of GPUs. You can see here that the supply of 30 series chips will be very tight in September, which will be reduced by more than 30% compared to August. That's obviously a really big number, but it gets even worse. There was an earlier report that said that there's a problem with the supply of the 3060 and 3060 Ti, and they're actually gonna have to drop it by at least 50%. As for why there was a supply issue all of a sudden, at least that was worse than last month, we're really not sure, but it's already making GPU prices go up more. It says that compared with August, the RTX 3070 Ti all rose by 600 yuan, which I believe is right around $92. Then the RTX 3080 and 3070 all rose by 300 to 400 yuan. RTX 3060 Ti, 3060, 2060 all rose by 200 to 350 yuan. And I will go ahead and say that this is uh, specifically for Zeus. When we go down here, gigabyte cards, we have the 3090 and 3080 Ti increased by 200 to 400 yuan, 3070 Ti, 3070 increased by 100 to 300 yuan. Basically, GPU prices look to be up across the board, at least in China, though of course these prices are going up basically everywhere. And in response to that, I'm doing a giveaway. Specifically, I'm giving away an RX 6800 non-XT GPU. I actually have the GPU right here. You can see 6800 non-XT GPU. All you have to do to enter is visit the link in the description. Make sure you are subscribed to GamerMeld. If you already are, just click on this link and then go back and you'll automatically have 10 entries, but being subscribed is a requirement. And after that, there are other ways to enter. Just make sure that at the very least you're subscribed, you visit the link and at least click on this one, click on the link. It just kind of takes you to the YouTube channel for you to subscribe. But if you already are, that's fine, just go back. And I'm really just doing this because GPU prices have been so high, just astronomical for so long. I just think it would be kind of cool to give one of my subscribers is a GPU. Obviously it is only one, but it's at least a pretty great card.
And moving on, we have Intel's 12th gen Alder Lake S desktop CPUs. Remember that this is going to be Intel's really big launch of the year, as it marks the first time in years that they're not on 14 nanometers, at least for their desktop parts. And they're actually going to be built on their newest 10 nanometer SuperFin. We're talking even better than Tiger Lake. Not only that, but it's built on their big dot little hybrid design, so it actually comes with two different cores specifically the performance cores and efficiency cores. So this is really a huge launch for Intel. And speaking of launch, from WCCF Tech, they actually claim to have the release date. Specifically, you can see right here that their sources confirm that the 12th gen core processor lineup, along with the Z690 motherboards, will be readily available on the 19th of November. Not only that, but they're going to be announcing it on the 27th and 28th of October during their innovation event. You can see it right here, Intel Innovation, and I really have very little doubt that this is true. We know that these GPUs are going to be coming really soon in the next month or so, so it probably is true or at least very close to the actual date. Either way, I would definitely get excited for Intel's upcoming CPUs. And speaking of getting excited about Intel's upcoming products, Intel's own CEO, their new one, Pat Gelsinger, actually had some pretty interesting stuff to say about their upcoming GPUs and CPUs. First up, on their GPUs. He actually stated, quote, We have our GPU architecture where we are going to start being in a position to really put pressure on NVIDIA for the first time ever. Now, obviously, we know that at least very recently, NVIDIA has absolutely been feeling some pressure from AMD, especially with their RX 6000 cards. So that statement, I would say, is pretty ridiculous as far as AMD, but it's the fact that they actually said that they're going to be in a position to put pressure on NVIDIA, which really implies that Intel's upcoming GPUs are going to be pretty powerful. Now, up to now, we've mostly been seeing leaks that have suggested, okay, it's probably going to compete with, say, the 3060 Ti, 3070, and that still very well may be true, but even competing there is pretty impressive for Intel's first discrete GPUs. And at the same time, with the fact that he said that they're the first ones that are really going to put pressure, that tells me that they may even be able to beat NVIDIA's best. Of course, I wouldn't get too excited about that, but it could be a possibility. Moving on, and this one is... A little funny, I will say, he actually was asked if basically Alder Lake is going to be their Zen moment, or at least whether they'll have a Zen moment for Intel, and Gelsinger's response was, quote, We have a number of things going on over here. We are rolling out our heterogeneous architecture that is part of Alder Lake, where we have big and little cores. You know AMD also has one. We'll have a higher performance and a more energy efficient version of the core pretty compelling. Now, that whole AMD only has one core really isn't that big of a deal, once again, especially since this was originally designed for mobile parts. But at the same time, I will say that we've seen some pretty interesting performance numbers from their upcoming CPUs. So I definitely am excited about it. But the whole AMD only has one type of core is kind of laughable at best. Still, somewhat funny to see that. But of course, the most interesting part is what he said about their upcoming GPUs. And lastly for today, we have a really interesting story on AMD's upcoming Ryzen 6000 APUs. As you can see right here, it was originally reported by video cards, but the source actually comes from known leaker Graymon55, where he actually says, quote, Rembrandt is already in mass production. Now, for those who don't know, Rembrandt is AMD's upcoming APUs, and you can see right here that it actually says Zen 3, but... From what we've been hearing, at least from a few different leakers, it's actually expected to be on Zen 3 Plus. Of course, if you've been following this channel for a little while, you know that there were some rumors stating that the next-gen Ryzen CPUs would be based on Zen 3 Plus, but now we know that it's more or less based on this new 3D architecture. Whether that's called Zen 3 Plus is still to be seen, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Instead, it's looking like these APUs are going to be based on some kind of refreshed Zen 3. That likely doesn't include their 3D stack cache, although it may, 
Either way, like I said, it is already in mass production, which means AMD is already gearing up for the release. And like Video Card stated, it will likely be announced at CES of next year. Remember that both Ryzen 4000 Renoir and Ryzen 5000 Cezanne were released at CES. So it's pretty likely that these are going to be announced then, or I said released, what I do mean is announced. It is pretty likely that these are going to be announced then, and the fact that AMD is already putting these in mass production shows that they are coming very soon. So while that does it for today, I hope you liked the video. I know I definitely rambled a little bit too much, but there were a ton of really interesting stories. And don't forget to check out the giveaway in the description for the RX 6800 non-XT GPU. And with that, what do you think about Intel's upcoming GPUs? Will it beat Nvidia's best? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.